I'm your host, Valley Williams. I'm a lender with C2 Financial, the nation's number one mortgage broker. Today, I am here with Manuel Sanchez. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Yeah, so absolutely. you're a realtor. You serve, Chula Vista is like your nut, right? That's where yes. you, you spend most of your time? Yes, I mean, Chula Vista is really kind of where I'm focusing right now just because it's so hot. Mm -hmm. um, but in general, I help I help out buyers anywhere. anywhere in San Diego. Yeah. Why, do you live in Chula Vista? I do, I do live in Chula Vista. Okay, so that's easy because you know the market yeah. out there. You know where to move, where to not move, yeah. I, I assume. Why do you think Chula Vista is a hot market? Well, you know what, the, the, at the rate that Chula Vista is growing right now, mm -hmm. Uh, being that a report came out uh, just two weeks ago, uh, being number eight on the nation as the fastest growing, um, actually it was Otay Ranch within Chula Vista. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's a huge, you know, that's a big news because at the rate that houses are being built out there, gotcha. it's just crazy. Do you sell, you sell people new homes? Like I, I do. I've worked with, uh, with, with uh, buyers buying new homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, so Chula Vista, I, I, you know, I don't have a lot of clients out there because most, I live in East County, yeah. but why do you think, you know, Chula Vista is booming, but what do you think it is about the culture there that people, makes people want to move? Because is, is it the price? Is it the culture? What is it? You know, it's a little bit of both. I honestly think that uh, a lot of clients come to me and they're, they ask me what's a big, you know, what's a good bang for your buck? Uh -huh. I tell them Chula Vista, you know, where you can get a little bit more land, have more rooms, and still maintain a really affordable price. Mm -hmm. So you think that, I mean, we're in a seller's market. Would you agree with that? Uh, I do agree with that. Okay. It, you know, as of like this time last year, it was a buyer's market. Yeah. Uh, right now, inventory is a little bit lower. Obviously, in January, everything starts coming out. But uh, interest rates are really low right now. I mean, you would know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this time last year, we were talking about where are the buyers? We know the buyers are out there, but they're not getting into the market. And you said it was a buyer's market. Yeah. This year... We know it's a seller's market, and we have limited supply of listings, right? Correct. Yeah. I mean, listings are slowly coming out. There's a lot that happened in, in, in November, December, where people, where I noticed, at least in the Chilvis area, where people are pulling the, their homes off the market. Well, probably because the holidays. You Correct. Think? Yeah. yeah. And then right now, coming into January, February, there, you start seeing them come out on, onto the market again. So do you think that that was the overall hesitant reason that people were listing their house, or is there other reasons? You know, I mean, it just depends. Every person is different. Mm -hmm. um, had they, every person has a different game plan, um, whether they're, you know, right now I think it's a good time to both sell and buy. Um, like I said, interest rates are low, and it's a good time to buy because, I mean, it's a good time to sell because buyers are out there looking for homes. Yeah. And I've always been told that when money is cheap to borrow, then mm -hmm. that's when you should be buying. Yeah, you know? correct. Um, so going into 2020, we're halfway into January. Almost exactly, right? Yeah. What's today? The 16th? The 16th, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're halfway into January. Where do you see your your specific business going this year? You know, I, I kind of go with the flow. I, I, I never try to force my business into one specific area. Um, but like I said, Chula Vista is a hot market right now. And, and honestly, San Diego in general is a hot market. You see it, it you know, in the news how... Uh, Zillow came out with a report again with San Diego being the hottest market in California in 2020. So that says a lot. That goes a long way. Also, you see people, uh, big time agents like the Altmans, uh, who who specifically work in LA, but now they're you see them slowly kind of creeping Get into out of here. San we Diego. Got plenty of yeah. Agents. So, <laughs> so I mean, that says a lot, right? Yeah. They kind of go where the where the, they know the market is going, where it's a hot market in San Diego right now. It, it, I don't think it could be hotter. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So, okay, so tell me about your clients. What type of buyer or seller works with you best? Like, what are they? What are what are they? What are they like? Well, I mean, I've I, I've worked with a lot of Hispanics. Uh -huh. I speak fluent Spanish, so. Oh, you're um, fluent. I am. Yes. Okay, I don't speak Spanish unless I have a little tequila. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but when I have a tequila, then I start slurring my words, <laughs> and then you don't want it. Yeah, you and don't want to. We totally talk. can communicate. In yeah. Spanish. We'll all know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> correct. Correct. And that's funny. Well, I mean, to answer your question, I, I work with all sorts of, of buyers and sellers. I, um, you know, I, I always have a game plan for them depending on what they're looking for, right? So uh -huh. I, I structure um, whether they're selling or buying, I structure a game plan for them, and I, I, I use social media to my advantage right. in promoting their listing, um, however it is they want to move forward with it. People may think that social media is just like a fluff, but putting your house on social media, whatever platform it is, 
is probably one of the most effective tools there is to sell your house. It, I 100% agree. It's 2020. It, you know, Instagram is very powerful. Facebook is the most powerful it's, it's been um, when using it to promote a listing. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, in a marketing campaign, when I get a listing, social media is at the top. Yeah. Because every single, uh, at least I want to say almost every single person is either on Facebook, Instagram, and now even LinkedIn that's made it so uh, the platform that, you're, you, that they're using to reach professionals is just fantastic. Yeah, and, you know, the print ad, it still is, like, cool, right? It still but, works. Like, I still fly. I get them in my junk mail and I just throw them away. Yeah. No, I still, I still go out and, and, and flyer drop, and you'd be surprised. No, I, when you personally deliver, it's yeah, different I than when deliver. you get it in the mail. Correct. I, I do agree with that. I, I do get a whole bunch of fluff in the mail, and yeah. I don't even look at it and toss it out. But I think, you know, the more that it's, it's doing it constantly. That's, that's the whole point of yeah, anything consistent. that you do. So being consistent, if they constantly see that, you know, consistently see that, that flyer in the mail, then at some point or another, they're going to really take their time and, and look at it. So obviously, you know, print media is, is expensive. Yeah. And right now, things like Instagram and Facebook are really low priced and you can reach a massive amount of people. Well, in closing, I'd yeah. really like to know this. What do you think your strength is as a realtor? Definitely on the listing side. Okay. I, I really enjoy listing homes. I enjoy creating a package for the seller and really marketing it to the correct buyer. Um, going into a house, into a listing appointment, and really looking at who's the buyer for this property. Yeah. So I think that's one of my strongest points. And of course, you know, uh, marketing is, is something that I love. I started, uh, recently I started a vlog on, on YouTube mm. um, that I've had fun with, and it's, it's providing value, right? It's mm -hmm. providing value to, to the seller, and at the same time, running into buyers and helping them out as well. Well, thank you so much for sharing and yeah. being here a part of our show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thank you all so much for watching Inside the Masterminds. <laughs>